Okay, for the next DIY project, DIY project number 20, we have the Buki Bow. And uh, if you're wondering where that name came from, uh, clearly from the shape of it, you can tell it's a diddly bow. Um, but it's actually made with some base parts and it has a ukulele scale. So from here to here, is the same scale as a tenor ukulele, 17 inches. Uh, okay, so let's start with the box here. So the box is a sliding lid uh, box, and you can kind of see, you can see it there, how this top piece slides into the back. So um, it's kind of an unusual box design. Um, so anyway, so then I, I had that, and I wasn't sure what to make of it, and then I had a piece of three-quarter inch square dowel, you can kind of see the probably see it better there but um, and you can see I just kind of sculpted a headstock out of it let's see if I can get a good angle here a little headstock it's got a single tuner there um, that tuner was actually a leftover from a project I did several years ago where I somehow ended up with seven tuners um, so this is the extra so it's been sitting in a box since then a threaded rod for the nut there um, and then you can see there's a little uh, well, hopefully you can see that there's a little um, hook there to help guide the string on. I want to keep it nice and low so that it doesn't put all that pressure at the top of the tuner and, and bend it or something. Um, but then you see as going down the neck there are wood burned uh, fret lines. I actually found out my wife had a wood burner. I didn't even know about it. So um, I also made the little dots there. Um, so then when we get to the body you can see there is a base pickup and then the little pickups around there to give it a nice look. And then here on the tail piece here, there's a base string ferrule, and the string, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is a, it's the G string from a, um, from a set of bass strings, but it's a, it's a heavier set. Uh, normally a G string is like a 40 or a 45, and it's a 50, so it's a zero, <coughs> excuse me, zero five zero gauge, so it's a little bit heavier. I don't know if you can hear that very well. Um, drilled some holes for the sound holes, and then I got all this together. And uh, oh, by the way, there is a jack back here, as you can see. The hard part of this, since the box top slides, I had to slide this forward, drop the pickup in, pull the wires around, and then slide it slowly in, and then have enough space so I could solder the jack here, which is why I didn't put a pot or anything in it, and then slide the whole thing together. And then once you put these screws in to hold the pickup in place, now the top can't slide anymore. Of course, I put a couple of brads there just to make sure. But the top can't slide once that pickup's in, and then the surround I just put around it to make it, or the pickup ring I put around it to make it look nice. But basically, um, then the last step, I got it all done, and I realized I didn't have something for the bridge. Um, that you know, I had some things I was going to use, and they were all either too tall or too short. So I just made one. So I just took a piece of scrap wood, kind of rounded it off in a couple different directions there. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but there it is. So then that's kind of how the whole thing goes together, and we've got basically a, a um, bass string, bass pickup, bass ferrule, ukulele scale, diddly bow, which I call the bookie bow. Um, so kind of a fun little instrument, just came out of nowhere, um, but uh, pretty happy with the build and the way it came out. Ends up, ended up looking pretty nice, so uh, let's do a little sound sample with her.